EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland at M&T Bank Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Washington football team. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Barbara, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. From the 24, Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 35. Mahomes finding Hill for a big play. 43 yards. We expected this defense to be by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. And again, it's Mahomes. Being chased out left. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off. What a big-time pickup on that play. This is caught, and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill, and the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. A look at Washington as they come on the field. First down, Smith. 
The throw taken in by Sims. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. On the tackle. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one, a first down of eight. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And he's taken down, a cheap sack. Like a freight train there, Derek Nottie with a sack. You never want to give up a sack. But from the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. And they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. And the pressure gets to him again. Frank Clark providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks. And now they're staring at a fourth and long. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to hit the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly? Meaning yeah. the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. They're rolling. Spotted at the 14-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Second and five. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Kansas City Chiefs. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. They'll run. It's Edwards-Alaire. 
And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Now here's Mahomes. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Complete to Clyde Edwards Elair. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 37 yard line. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Bell. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Now they're going to be dealing with seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Mahomes going to throw. And that is incomplete. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. Watch these kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. From the gun, here's Smith. And he'll go underneath through this one to McKissick. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A.D. McKissick. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 33-yard line. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. To throw again on second down. Smith. This one completes to Kelvin Harmon. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Smith trying to get him to the line quickly with the clock rolling. Smith on first down. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
to throw again. Smith. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Throwing again is Smith. Open man is Sims. He's got it. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing again. Smith. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it online, but it comes up about a rotation short. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, and the half will begin with a touchback. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. And he'll give it here to his running back. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's McKissick. And the athleticism on the spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. It's a first down Washington on a pickup of 18. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. On first and 10, Smith. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. 
Three yards the gain there, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Throwing again on second down. Smith. Catch is made. It's Harmon. Complete to Kelvin Harmon. Brings up third down. third down Gibson and he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27 call it again is seven and it gets him a new set of downs we don't talk about it very often but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling and how about right there he ran right through that weak tackle attempt Right back to him on first down. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. 23-yard line. To throw on second and six. Smith over the middle. It's incomplete. Kelvin Harmon, the man he was looking for. Third down here. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. And he finds McLaurin, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practice as well. They really tune up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Nothing. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now it's Smith. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count, and a five-yard penalty ensues. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. To the air again, Smith. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Again, Smith. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas there to make the grab. And Washington able to make this a close game again. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Hopkins with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter.
Dustin. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taken in at the three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. It was Jonathan Bostic there on the stop. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. From the 31, Mahomes, middle of the field, it's Robinson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. I call that a very strong gain of 24. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. And they run the option here on first and 10. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. On second and 11 now. Mahomes, he's got Watkins on the out route. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 32 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Everybody likes to see the long ball thrown, but when you throw it underneath and you see someone catch the ball, secure it, make their moves, and then turn it into bigger plays, that's a lot of fun to watch as well. It's good to make it 17-7. Good. Makes the score Chiefs 17, Washington 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Now Washington, down by 10, 2.16 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. At the 35-yard line. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. 
Out of the gun, Smith. Open man here, Sims complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Complete to J.D. McKissick. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 46-yard line. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. Now Smith. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Smith now to throw. Throw left side complete. It's Sims. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage. The drag route can be effective when it's run well. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Now it's Smith. Got an open man. It's Harmon. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Smith. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. That's complete right around the eight. And he's first down as he gets it to the eight. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. But what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.